Hello, I am Ragnarok, and welcome to The Reckoning. So today we're going to look at the second of the Vangul clan sub-factions, the Forsaken Vanguard. Alright, so as we did last time, we're going to start with the banners. The Vangul clan, I, the, Van, uh, the, Van, the Forsaken Vanguard, wow, can't even say it. Um, I like this band. I actually prefer their banner to the Bloodhawks. The Bloodhawks one is cool. I love Hawks and stuff like that, but this one just looks even meaner. That one I thought looked mean, but this is just nice. So I'm, again, I'm, I'll reiterate, I'm really liking the design on the new banners. Really, really nice. I definitely love to put these up in my builds. So, and as you can see over here, we have the, the bigger one. And these come in the same four variants as every other banner in the game, so... All right, so next let's look at, hmm, yeah, let's go to the pets. So we have Keldora. So the pet that the the original pet got moved to the Forsaken Vanguard. And we can take, I leveled this one to level 20. So we can take a look at its stats. Again, RNG based. So you may get different stats. This one's actually pretty good amount of uh, HP. Although I do have the Vitality Boost. And then we have the Corrupted Grunt. And as you can see, this one's got even more statted, but again, it's got an even more boost in the Vitality. So I just happen to get Vitality boost in the uh, RNG game. So you again, you may get for something different, but as you see, pretty cool. I mean, the, the Corrupted Grunt, sick to have something with an actual weapon that's going to have an animation, but their animations are kind of me as far as uh, in the actual game itself. They're, they're very um, easy to dodge and slow moving, but they can do some damage to some stupid thralls. And then the Wolf, obviously... Definitely a lot of damage, really quick, fast moving, and stuff like that. Okay, so next we have the corpses. Um, these are actually pretty gruesome and pretty sick, so obviously avert your eyes. But uh, these are you got the guts, the boar, the gazelle, and the rhino. So really, really cool if you're trying to make like uh, an actual hunting camp or something like that. You're trying to decorate the land. Definitely really, really cool models and stuff like that. Definitely gory, but um, nice. So we're going to move on to the big boy. The Vault of the Damned. Now this thing is sick. It's nice that the Van Gogh, because they're so freaking massive, get this nice little vault. I, I, the design on it's really cool, but the big thing that makes it all amazing, 300 slots. 300. I said it, 300. It's uh, pretty big. Um, I don't know how many of these you're actually going to build in your place, but really cool and a really good place to store a lot of, lot of stuff. We're going to come back to that one right there, but we'll do the Shrine of Keldoro next. This one's a pure decoration. Um, definitely really cool. Again, something just to put in your base. Make it look look pretty sick. Um, you know, guard or whatever. So, definitely like it. Nice decoration. So, now we're going to go to this one. This one is probably one of the biggest deals that makes this van, this sub-faction probably the most OP out of the two, in my opinion. Um, I, I feel they're a lot more balanced than a lot of the other sub-factions for the other factions so far. Um, but this definitely... Puts the first thing of Vanguard, in my opinion, over the top. And it's the Forge of Keldora. Now you ask, what is the Forge of Keldora? Well, what it is, is it's the Volcanic Forge. So yes, the Volcanic Forge. The same forge that you have to go all the way up here, go through that portal, and go and fight those guys to use. So you can use any of the pets that are crafted at the Volcanic Forge or any of the mats that are crafted there. Well, guess what? You can now craft it there. Or craft it here, in your own base. Small. I mean... Compared to the Volcanic Forge itself, um, and compared to a lot of other stuff, I mean, it's really not smaller than that, and it's not that much bigger than that. So, and again, having a Volcanic Forge, and here's the mats that it takes to uh, create the uh, Spawn of Keldora. And I, like I said, it's, it's nice to actually have a Volcanic Forge in your own base and not have to travel back and forth to make the cores and stuff like that. So all we need is a Frost Temple Smithy in some in one of the sub-faction bases, and we're going to be golden. So here we have the armor of the Vanguard, and I definitely like it. It's kind of cool to have a heavy armor um, for the Vanguard, or not for the Vanguard, for the Van Gool. I'm going to get those mixed up all the time. Uh, but it's kind of nice. You know, they are beefier. They don't really need the armor, but it's nice to know that they you know can armor up if they need to. Uh, so cold protection, bonus strength. And this is the normal variant. We do have an elite variant also. I'll go through the stats. You're going to get your plus 12 to your strength, plus 15 for the elite variant. And then I'll uh, change over to the elite variant. There is no visual difference between the two. So their model 
pistols are exactly the same, but this is the elite variant and its stats. And just for sake of being complete, as before, we'll show it on the male and female models. And this, I will say, is probably one of the very few helmets in the game that I actually can stand wearing. And it actually very it fits, I think, the uh, Van Gogh very much, especially with the glowing eyes. Um, there's not many armors that I'll actually wear in the game, or helmets. And this is actually one of the few that I actually would wear on occasion. All right, so we're going to go over the weapons next. But before we do, I just want to give a huge shout-out to our Patreons and Elite Patreons. I appreciate everything you all do. If you're interested in being part of our Patreon crew, definitely check out the link in the description below. So next we have the Vanquish Cleaver. Again, the normal and the elite variant. So the difference between the normal and elite variant, just better statted. Um, and one you unlock at level 80 when you first become a, a Vanguard. And the elite variant you unlock at level 120. So here's the stats on the normal one and the stats on the elite. You bo get bonus strength again. And we'll just add the... You get plus 10 for the normal one and plus 12 for the elite one. And this is the same Vanquish Cleaver that we used to have all the time before. As you can see, nothing's really changed with it. Uh, it's, in my opinion, one of my favorite weapons to use in the game. I love axes, and it's arguably one of the best uh, one-handed axes. The nice thing about it, it is one-handed, which means you can use a shield. And that will bring us to our next item. We have the Shield of the Damned, the Normal, and the Elite Variant. Again, nothing different in the character model. And here's the stats on them. It does give double cold protection, so it does give you a nice boost in cold protection uh, and bonus encumbrance. So the bonus encumbrance should be 10 and 12. I'm wearing the Elite variant right now, so that's going to give me the 12. Um, actually, surprisingly enough, the Elite variant does not give cold protection, which I did not notice until right now making the video. I don't know if that is a bug and that will be patched later or if that was intentional. Either way... That is how it is as as far as at the time of making the video. Let me know in the comment section below if that gets patched eventually. Next, we have the Wretched Blade. Nice, nice weapon. So this one's kind of unique because it does uh, give the Alarican Plague stacks to anything you attack. It's two-handed sword. Bonus Plague. So as you can see, yeah, the Alarican Plague when it hits. I think it's, um, if I remember, it's max stack three. Again, let me know if that's incorrect, but I'm, last I checked. Next, we have the Executioner. Two-handed hammer, bonus grit, which again, it'll be plus 12 grit. And just a pretty sick weapon. I like the weapon because it does give off the, uh, the glow aura, so if you wear this at night, uh, you will get, it's not as much as like a torch or something like that, but you do get a pretty good light radius, so you can go through dark areas and be somewhat lit, and at least see what's directly around you, which is really nice. The Battle Axe of the Vanguard. So, bonus agility, we're going to get plus 12. And two-handed Battle Axe. There's your stats. And you get the, the infinite swing as, far, as long as your stamina. Although, I believe there is a max. I've actually never tested it, but uh, I believe with all the battle axes in Vanilla Conan, there's a max amount of swings if you had infinite stamina. And last but not least, we have Explosive Barrel. So, this is going to take your. This is going to be your AOC version of the Explosive Jar. So, the Bloodhawks got the version of the Explosive Trap, and now we have the Jar. So, this one does some. Um, I'd say. One and a half times, maybe a little bit more than that. It's kind of hard to get an exact. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to... And there you go. Oh, of course, I did it when I was wearing armor. And it gives, it gives the least burning effect, same as Explosive Jar does, which is going to cause more damage after. Let's take off the armor. And let's try that again, just like we did with the trap in the previous video. Which, by the way, if you haven't checked out the previous video for the Bloodhawks or the quest video on how to choose this uh, sub-faction or the Bloodhawks, we have videos for both of those. Check those out. Also, make sure you hit the sub button if you're not already subbed so you can get notified when the next video out. And, and it also helps the channel immensely. So if you really do enjoy the content and you want to see more of it, just hit the sub button. You, you can turn alerts off if you want. It helps up the channel more if you turn it on, but I'm okay with, you know, just turn it off. But it's free thing and it does help out the uh, YouTube channels immensely, especially if it's a channel that you like. And there we go. So we did about 800 life, maybe. I think I've seen it spike to like 950. 
So, I mean, it's a little bit more. I believe the normal jars do like five something, 600. Okay, so that will cover it for everything that the Forsaken Vanguard get. They get a lot of stuff. Um, I definitely say they got definitely the majority of the useful utility items, like the Forge and the Vault. Um, I mean, the Forge is really the big thing. The Vault is another storage device, so not a big deal. Um, I like some of the Bloodhawks weapons a little bit better, but these, these ones, I like their armor better. So either way, let me know in the comment section below which of the two sub-factions you enjoy better. Uh, or that you like better if you were to pick a Van Gogh, even if you don't normally pick Van Gogh. Um, I'm very curious to see which of the two factions everybody likes or sub factions. Um, give a thumbs up in the video if you enjoy the video. Again, that always helps out the video. And also lets me know what type of videos you like. Showcase videos, tutorials, guides, playthroughs, and all that stuff. So, And you can leave that in the comment section also. Uh, like I said before, uh, we have an amazing Discord channel. If you're not in it, get in it. Uh, it's a great place to just source information from if you have questions. It's a lot. You're going to get the answers a lot faster from that than you are if you send me direct DMs. So definitely join the Discord and just pop it in the Conan chat and someone will answer you eventually. So I uh, appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. And I will see you all on the next one. And as always, Fear the Reckoning.